everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 2. We've already beaten Bubble Man and Metal Man in the first video, and now we have six Robot Masters left, as you can see. We are going to do Air Man first for this video. We're going to continue on with Air Man here, because, believe it or not, he's easy to beat with the arm cannon if you know what to do. Almost hit Mega Buster there again. And the first thing we see when we make our way to the right are these things with these little spikes that come out of the sides here. As you stand on this platform, you're going to have to deal with these robots that pop out from the sides as well. And you're going to have to shoot them down in order to get them out of your way. Also, you obviously don't want to land on the spikes or even touch them. It even more embarrassing to land on them during a jump, because if you do that, well, there's a chance you're going to be knocked off and it's not going to be fun. And I almost messed that up right there. Now we just got one more of these kinds of platforms before we have to deal with these guys, the little Zeus robots who throw the Thunderbolts at us. They take about three hits to kill. Now, I honestly don't have problem a little bit of a problem with landing on these platforms, except for this one. No, not that one, this one. Yes, the fourth one, not the third one. Though the third one would probably be just as hard, who knows. Thankfully, if you jump back a little bit from the platform and easily make your way back to it, you can get those little Zeus robots, as I like to call them, to respawn. And now you have birds dropping eggs. If the if the eggs hit the ground, a whole bunch of smaller birds come out. You'll have to contend with those. Thankfully, they can drop pickups for your health and ammunition in case you really need them. And now it's on to these things again. Yay! Let's jump over the right side and quickly make our way back. So that way, we can get that second platform to show up. And one more new enemy here, these guys. It is possible to go back just enough to despawn them and not have them respawn, which is pretty nice. Also, after that blue robot, you definitely want to take your time because of those eggs. And those clouds can make it hard to see stuff at times. Also, what I was talking about kind of right there with that first of two of those blue robots... You can get them to respawn and not come back if you can time your motions just carefully. And I'm doing real good at keeping my health full. And you definitely want to be very careful near the end, especially with those birds, because you get hit by those eggs in midair, it's all over. You're going back to where we saw those little worm shooting things. I forgot to talk about those. We got those little things in the ground that shoot out what look like blue pieces of bacon. I know I called them worms earlier, but they look like blue pieces of bacon. We'll just call them bacon shooters. And now it's time to take on Air Man. Now you definitely want to keep on shooting with the arm cannon. If you can avoid the little tornadoes that he shoots out, so be it. And when he jumps to the left, you want to stay to the left. And you just want to keep on shooting. Don't go to the right when he jumps to the left side of the room. Just stay behind him, keep shooting as much as you can, jump if you have to, and you'll be able to beat him before he starts his second cycle from the left side of the room. And by beating Airman, we get the air shooter. So, yeah, beating Airman with the leaf shield, which we'll get later. Spoiler alert. Not exactly necessary when you know what to do. Also, by beating Airman, we get item 2, which is basically a precursor to the rush jet in the third game. Basically, you equip it, you shoot out a platform, you ride on it, it takes you straight to the right. There are three items in the game. This is obviously the second one. And I might as well go ahead and give you the password here. I'm going to keep that on screen for a few seconds. If you need to pause it, so be it. Thankfully, this password is easy to remember. And let's go to the stage select. 
We've got Air Man taken care of. Air Man is the weakness to Crash Man. Let's play Crash Man. Cory in the house is an anime. Anyway! First enemy we meet here are these things, and I don't know why I'm struggling like I am. Die. Thank you. These things do keep coming back every couple seconds after you shoot them. So if you want, you can farm some health out of them. Thankfully, I won't have to do that. And this level, most of it's going to be a vertical climb. Also, Metars! They're back! From Gutsman stage in stage one. I mean, game one, not stage one. And they have more patterns in later games. I think they may have one additional pattern in this one, though I'm not sure. But, again, when they expose their faces, shoot them. We now have to deal with a bunch of platforms on these little tracks here. And we have to get to the plat to the ladders when we reach them. Once again, we have to do with the blue spinny robot things. And this one is probably the most complex of the three that we're going to see here. Just keep an eye out on the sides here. That way those blue guys won't give you a whole bunch of problems. And thankfully at this point, once you're like on the left side of the screen, they all start coming out from the right. So at least the game is kind of gracious in that regard. And thankfully there's only one of those little worm guys. Now we get to climb a ladder again! We will come across another Metar. Not on this screen, but on the next one. Now, when you land on the second platform, this guy will shoot at you. You want to land on the left half of this platform here because you will more than likely get shot and hit. And if you're too close to the right edge, you will be going down. You can kind of catch yourself before you fall off to the previous screen, but I wouldn't recommend it. Best way to get through here is to climb the right ladder. The left leads to a bunch of dead ends and I think an energy can, which I'm probably not going to be able to get my hands on as much as I'd like to have it. Now, from here, if we follow the left ladder, we'll get a large health pickup. If we take the far right ladder, we're going to get the bird instead. Not the bird, but the way out. I was thinking about the bird because the bird was always missing with the egg. And there's that energy can that I was talking about. Because I can't go back to the stage. When I complete it, I won't be able to get it. Oh well. And now we got these little crusher robots. These guys aren't terribly bad. They're a lot easier to take care of. And I don't think they do as much damage as the crusher robots in the first game. Anyway. We are going to equip Airman's weapon, which is the A weapon on the pause screen. Now it's time to fight Crash Man. When you shoot, he shoots. Jump and shoot. Three hits will kill him. Just stay away from him, stay away from the Crash Bomb that he shoots at whenever you shoot your weapon, and you should do just fine. For beating Crash Man, you get the Crash Bomb. What it does is it sticks to a wall, stay there for a few seconds, explodes. If anything touches that explosion, it dies. Might as well go ahead and show the password here. As you can see, we've got bubble lead, air shooter, metal blade, crash bomb, and item two. Password didn't change that much. We now have a circle in C5. So we got that going. Gonna press A, gonna go to the next stage screen, and this is where we're gonna call it a video. How do I want to do the next one? Hmm. Well, I know I'm gonna take on Flash Man next in the next video. But however I want to do it from there is gonna be up to me. I'm gonna have to think about this one. So join me next time where Flash Man 
and whoever I decide to take on after that. Because it's all uphill or downhill or whatever hill from here. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!